Look at this beautiful little puppy right here. He is so inquisitive. He seems to be very happy. Oh, yeah. And relaxed because he, he just had be. a little yawn. He's probably thinking of uh, kibbles and bits yeah. right now. <laughs> hey, look who's here. It's the Pet Patrol. Good morning. Good morning, Dan. Good morning to you, Sandy Lamb. Doesn't Jack look great? Is that his name, Jack? Jack? That's yeah. a great name. Jack is a patient that Jack has had this surgery. Okay, well, then so, that is beautiful. I know. So we're going to talk to Don Leash your Fitness first about what do you do if you see your dog is having a seizure? Well, let's introduce both these folks so we know who they are, first all of right. all. We Doctor, have. tell us who you are. I'm David Prue. I'm a radiation oncologist at California Veterinary Specialists. So, uh, specifically, an oncologist for pets, animals. Uh, specifically, pets. radiation oncology. Radiation well. oncology. And good morning to you. How good are you? Good morning. I'm Dawn with Leisha. Yeah, Prince. go ahead and take that. <laughs> go, yeah, go ahead and take the microphone like a rock star. <laughs> yeah, you're the only one without one. You can you can hold on to it yourself. <laughs> so so what's going on with you? Um, my name is Dawn. I own Leash Your Fitness, and Jack is our mascot for Leash Your Fitness. And, oh, um, look at him. <laughs> he's tired because he's been still exercising. Have you been working him out? Yeah, so we just so hiked eight miles on? What's yesterday. the story on Jack? Um, Jack started having seizures in October. So he had a seizure, and we took him and got a brain MRI, and we found out he had a brain tumor. And it was actually pretty large. Oh, okay. But because of where it was, it wasn't really affecting anything until he had the seizure. Oh, my gosh. So that so, was the indicator. Exactly. Yeah. And so at that point, Don, so then you met Dr. Pru. Yeah, so um, we went straight to California Veterinary Specialty, and Dr. Pru took super good care of us. They gave us options on radiation therapy, either 19 treatments or um, the cyber knife, and we jumped at the cyber knife. Cyber what knife, is this? Cyber knife is four treatments, right? Three. Three treatments. Three, Three treatments. Three treatments. So, so tell us about this, and yeah. tell us how rare this is, too. Yeah, well, brain tumors are actually relatively common in dogs. We see a fair number of dogs of all ages that get tumors. Uh, seizures are the most common symptom that a patient would have. Most tumors are not operable, and so the, really the only choice is to use some type of radiation treatment. The biggest problem is the normal brain does not like radiation. So when you give a course of radiation, you have to divide it into 19 treatments. Oh my gosh. And ultimately, there's a limitation about how much you can give. CyberKnife is a newer generation of radiation where it's basically robotically controlled and it's far more accurate. And because of that accuracy, you can give a higher dose to a tumor and you can give it in just three days. So what we found with dogs with brain tumors, with regular radiation, we might control a tumor for a year. With CyberKnife, we're getting anywhere between two to six years. Oh my gosh! Yeah. I know. My gosh, and the success and there's rate. No side of, there's no side effects, right? Yeah, um, really, because you're treating just the tumor itself, we don't see any side effects. And, and Jack is a real case in point. Uh, he went for uh, uh, how far of a hike this morning? Yeah, uh, eight, so well, eight miles or. Jack um, went out eight miles this morning. Uh, no, yesterday. Oh, yesterday. Yeah. So. Oh my gosh. So, so on the follow up. Uh, how's he doing in terms of the actual tumor? He's doing well. I mean, we are probably about four to five months out, so there's still uh, a long way to go to continue to monitor him. That'll be occasional MRIs, seeing if the tumor has reduced in size. But right, right. so far, so good. He's doing great. And I would imagine this is not a cheap uh, procedure. Mm -hmm. No, it is not. No. Yeah. No. yeah. Um, all technology comes at a cost, uh, and CyberKnife runs about twelve to thirteen thousand dollars. So, it's not for every dog, first and foremost, and certainly not for every client. And yeah. we wish, in the end, that there would be ways to lower the cost down in the future, sure. and we hope to be able to do that. Yeah, but it's um, expensive technology. It is yeah. absolutely. All right. Dan, well, there are only two um, surgeons in the country that do this. Dr. Pru is one of them. And Dr. That we well, have in San Diego. We're we're privileged to have you here then. And it's Thank right you down very the street. Much. And it's right down the street. And we're talking California Veterinary Specialists. That's the name of the group, right? That's right. Yes. Yeah. But that's in North County. The Cyber Knife is lo in a different location. Okay. Um, it's right on Rough and Road. Exactly. So, I mean, isn't it amazing? It is. It is really amazing. And I mean, the technologies we've been using on humans, we are now using on our and loved it, ones. It is a human. It's a human machine. So we take yeah. the people off and put the dogs on the and same machine. And put the dogs right in. Well, and God he's bless 12. you guys. He's 12. Is he really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, he looks happy. He, he looks like he doesn't know anything's going he thinks on. He he's a human anyway. So. Yeah, of course he does. Right? Well, but thank you so much. I know. And yeah, so, this is um, great. Ja it's great to see a dog that's had cancer um, that's doing so well. Yeah. And oh. <laughs> there he, he is, agrees. Folks. Yeah, exactly. He agrees. And he Dr. Pru is an amazing doctor. So. Well, doctor, thank you so much. We'll put info on our website. Okay. About this, and I'm sure we'll probably read about this. And 
you know, San Diego home garden lifestyle, the Pet Absolutely. Patrol. All right, Sandy thank Lampy, you. thank you so much, doctor. And thank you, young lady. We appreciate it. I'll be a dreamer to the day.